right. Hello. Thanks for coming. Now the first thing I have to show in a bag, this is the Super Pet upper board. This would be from a three board model. And I'm really hoping that in here somewhere is the switch thing. Oh, yes. Wait a second. Here is the lower board. And indeed, with all the bits and pieces and parts, it looks like the connector with the switches is there. We will need that. Now, firstly, also, this super, not super pet, this pet, from what I remember, did come up and work. <sighs> Dusty. And this one, it's funny, the, the, the thing got taken off. I don't know how, but anyway, it's somebody wrote or scratched, maybe it's pencil, it says Commodore Pet on Lady 32 and disk drive. Well, there's no disk drive in here, but all right. We have power. I turn it on. Oh, we hear the magic sound. We do. Let's look at the screen. What do we see? We see nothing. I'll crank this up. We see nothing. Now, before we panic, is the monitor connected? Yes. Yes, it is. But yet, we see nothing. Let me hold down the space bar. It doesn't feel right. It does not. I hold down the cursor key. Aha, okay. So things are happening, even though I can't see them, because when I hold down the cursor key, see there's this tab, not tab thing, this kind of warning, hey, you're getting close to an end of a line. That will happen if you're pressing the space bar or holding down the cursor key. So we're kind of somewhat there, but we're not there. So we have a board that seems to be okay, but we don't have anything coming from the monitor or going to the monitor, or maybe the monitor is dead. I don't know, or maybe there's no power. All right, well, let's see here. I will pull off the monitor connector thing, slide it back and forth a few times. and see if that should make any difference, which it probably does not. So it makes the noise. I think I've got that all the way cranked up. And of course, we see nothing. Oh, there's a chip in here. Ooh. Oh, okay. There's a chip in here. I mean, just turn this off. There's a chip. I mean, I heard things rattling around, and I found a couple of screws. There's also a chip here. It's an EEPROM. Oh, it's this paper clip. 2.8. Funny, there's another one in here. It's this paper clip. 2.8. Okay. I wonder why there's another. I just don't know. And the, the, the thing that holds the thing for the, the lid is kind of twisted and bent. Mm. Well, I really would like to be able to test something out here. Boy, that's precarious. All right. What I'm going to do is take out the screws. 
Oh, I guess they're mostly missing. Shocking. Sounds like the monitor. Unplug the keyboard. There's at least one key on it. Seems to be working. Unplug the power. And then go for the little plastic legs that hold the board in. Oh, well. That's one side. Careful. Okay, that one's out. And then this last one. I always find this one to be difficult. Twist and pull. Okay. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Precarious, precarious, precarious. Things trying to fall. Things trying to hurt me. Okay. So there, the maybe 32 board. All right, I'll put that down. I'll put that down. I'll we'll set this back here. Oh, well, of course, there's a key broken. There's always one key. Well, not always, but all the time. All right, so I'm going to unplug this. And so as not to disrupt the chairs, I'm going to put this over here. I am. There. Oh, okay. Sit in the chair. There we go. All right. So now I've got a super pet board. And I've got a pet board. I'd like a machine that has a monitor that works that I can test them on. So I'll go looking again. Thanks for coming. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.